Hey, what's up guys? Ruslan G here, back again with another video for you. And what if I told you that you could systematically find investment opportunities in the market before they explode? because that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today, and I hope you enjoy this. And if you learn anything in this video, go down below and smash that like button because it helps out the channel quite a bit. Without further ado, let's dive right into this one. All right, so the very first one on the list is to look at our environment. And what do I mean by this? Well. As consumers, since every single person has to buy things, right? We all need things and we all want things. And if you're a person that people watch is like myself, then you will know that there are products that are being bought because they have a better value proposition than their competitor, right? There's a reason why people buy, let's say Colgate toothpaste versus the generic brand, right? There's a reason why people buy an iPhone versus a Samsung or a Motorola, right? So being aware of your environment and the choices that other people make, and maybe even you make, that will lead you to becoming a better investor and finding companies that are gonna do really, really well in the short to mid to long term. And the second trick to finding these investments is a little thing that I discovered not too long ago, and that's called Google Trends. And you can actually go and you can find this on Google. They have a page where you can compare search results between one product or one company with another. And this is a good way to infer exactly what company is winning or what product is winning against the other one. So to determine the winner of a specific industry that's trending. For example, if you wanted to see if Apple was being searched more versus Microsoft, you can do that. And if you were curious to see if the Cybertruck was trending more than the Nicola Badger on Google, you can actually look that up. It's called Google Trends. It might be called Google Analytics now, but you can look that up, which makes this a really, really good tool to use if you didn't know that it existed. So the third one I did wanna include, but it's not one that particularly points out something that is on the up and coming. They're usually really late to the party, and that is news. Now your local news channel might do some justice because they're not as filtered out, but honestly, I don't look to the news unless I'm curious on what not to do. So when the news, like CNBC, CNN, whatever they might be, if they go on and they tell me to sell a particular stock or to buy a stock or to short the market or to long the market, I tend to do the opposite, and what I found out is that they're as good as predicting weather as they are the market, which means they are not good at predicting it at all. So if you go to your local news source for your investment advice, you probably have lost lots of money and probably even lost faith in investing itself. So hopefully you don't use that one, but it is a specific channel where you can get a lot of information, which is why I wanted to include that one. But let's dive into my favorite one, which is social media trends. So on the web, there are a lot of social media platforms that you can go to, like Twitter, like Facebook, like Instagram, like Snapchat. But the ones I wanted to point out in particular where I find some of the more compelling and interesting investment picks is actually Instagram, which if you follow the right people, they could probably be found on any platform. But for me personally, it has been Instagram and TikTok. And you'd be surprised, TikTok, why TikTok? Because I believe that the younger generation, in some respect, can search things and typically knows how to use the internet a lot better than these stock pickers that are 50, 60, 70 years old. So in my opinion, it's almost better to find a few good sources on Instagram and TikTok. In the future, it might be Twitter, it might be Facebook, it might be whatever else comes around, but overall, that is probably the best place to find social media trends on products and companies that are up and coming. And the last but not least is just to be familiar with what you like. And what I mean by this is if you're a tech fanatic, stay in your lane. If you like telemedicine, stay in your lane. If you like telehealth, stay in your lane. All these industries, and there's so many more, but you're just one person. And so the best piece of advice that I could give you, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but the best piece of advice I can give you is if you stay in your lane, you're gonna be able to pay attention and nitpick the disruptors of every industry. And the disruptors are the ones that are gonna make you the most money, right? Usually, these are the guys that are inventing things that people need versus just things that they want. Like Tesla is a disruptor of technology, the automotive industry, and energy. There are a lot of companies like this that are disrupting their industry. And if you get good at paying attention to maybe one, two, maybe three industries at most, you'll be able to pick up on 
what the industry is lacking. You'll understand the industry size. You'll understand the competition and everything else that might be necessary to get a good grasp of understanding that space and thus leading you to finding opportunities that will pay out very, very well. Just to recap, the places that you want to find your information is your environment, which is the people, the consumers that are all around us. Very, very easy to see there in plain sight. If you want going and hanging out at a Starbucks, see what kind of computers people are using. See what kind of books they're reading. See what kind of pencils they're using to write things down. See what kind of journals they're using to write down their notes on. See what kind of coffee or tea they're getting, right? See what kind of phone they're using. As long as you don't do this looking like a creep, no one's gonna pay attention to you and you can take notes and you can write this down and this is a very, very easy one to do. It's all hidden in plain sight. If you see people are starting to pick up the new iPhone 45, whatever it may be in the future, that's an easy telltale sign that more people are getting into Apple as a consumer, thus Apple's gonna be making more and more money and that means you might be able to profit if you do the company analysis and it makes sense. Of course, there's so many companies that exist out there that it's gonna be hard and you're still gonna to have to do some research. It's not gonna be easy. But what I can tell you is, this is how you make the most money. The second one is social media trends, right? These are the Kim Kardashians. What are they doing? Gary Vee, what is he doing? What's happening on TikTok? What's happening on Instagram? What's happening in the online retail space? What's happening in tech? All these things happen to be living on the web as we speak, just like our physical environment, there is a virtual environment. So you gotta pay attention to that too. Google Trends is also important because Google Trends is exactly what people are searching on the web. And the reason why I say Google and not Bing or DuckDuckGo is because Google is the most searched platform for any type of questions or inquiries or any kind of research. So that's what makes it really interesting. And again, Google just gives you that knowledge if you know where to find it. So go check it out, Google Trends. That's another great, great platform where you can find and compare companies and competition right next to each other. So that way you can understand if they're gonna go up, if they're gonna go down as they're happening, or even in a lot of cases before they actually experience these outcomes. And last but not least, again, is the disruptor of industries. Know your market, stay in your lane. And if you practice everything that I said before this, you will be an expert in finding the disruptors in your industry. And if you can do that, you're gonna make a lot, a lot of money. Hopefully you guys learned something new in this video. And if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, go leave that down in the comment section below. If you found a lot of value in this video, which I hope you did, because I know if I was watching this and someone told me exactly how to do this, five, six, seven, ten years ago, I would be a multi, multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire. So hopefully you found this as valuable as I do. And hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.